Now coming back with the practice of unit number 11, the real world, we will uh, review the section A, getting it done, so using the vocabulary of the collocations. So right now you can pause the video and read the next text. We're gonna fill it in with the phrases that we have here, the collocations, we're gonna set the right uh, collocations. So if you don't remember, you can check out the previous unit. So now let's start, you can pause the video, and right now I'm gonna present the answers. And here we go, we have proofread and formatted his resume, remember the double T, provide references, apply for the job, Prepare for the interview, research the job, printed the email, sent the thank you note, accepted the job offer, and translate the letter. So these are the answers of the next step. Now in this practice, we're going to answer the next questions according with your own information. You have these three questions. Have you ever had job interview? What did you do to prepare for it? Have you ever made a resume? Who proofread it? And have you ever accepted a job offer? What job was it? And now, in the exercise number three, we have a read sentence, then check the correct answer to the question. We have number one, John gets speed to print the business cards. Who prints the business cards? Marta has her clothes washed at Mindy's laundry. Does Marta wash her own clothes? Yoko had her reference letter translated. Did someone translate Yoko's reference letter? Mr. Clark gets net to photocopy his important papers. And who photocopies the papers? Fran has been washed his car on the weekends. Who washes the car? Jennifer plans to get her hair cut on Tuesday. Will Jennifer cut her own hair? So now you can pause the video. You can reread the questions to find out the well the best answer and here we go number one was speed to no three yes four was net five was ben and six it's a no now let's gonna continue with the next exercise we have uh, completed text with the core phrases from the box we have get a friend to help you get a neighbor to take care of get your clothes watch have someone clean, have your bank pay, have your clothes strike. Now it's time to show the answers and here we go. Have your clothes dry clean, get your clothes washed, have someone clean, get a neighbor to take care of, get a friend to help you and have your bank pay. Okay, so these are the, the answers create more time at home. Now we're gonna go to the next section. In the next section we're gonna use the genitive with has or get and we're gonna circle the correct answer. So, okay, you can pause the video right now. So now pause it and right now it's time to show the answers. So Rachel has her sister translate letters for her. Sammy gets Jeff to do the laundry. Number three, the managers have the assistant form of their presentations. Number four, I usually get my father to drive me to the airport. Number five, as Sammy uh, gets Jesse to help her with her homework. Number six, we have Park Press print our business card. Number seven, do you have anyone proof read your resume? Number eight, it's who do you get to clean your house? Number nine, it's Josh has Pan feed his cat when he is on vacation. Number 10 and last one, Mona gets her neighbor to pick up her mail when she is in London. Okay, now let's continue with the next exercise. In this video, we will practice the section A of the unit 11. Okay, and we also gonna practice section B and C at the end. The last part is a reading exercise too. Okay, look at Michael's to-do list. 
he has checked the things that he has already gotten done. Write sentence about what he has already had done and what he still needs to have done. Use the verb in parentheses. Okay, so we can stop here the video. We have to-do list. Suit strike clean. We have checked. Shirt iron, no. Haircut, checked. Apartment clean, no. Resume proof read, no. Resume translation into English, no. Business card print, yes. And car fix. Now let's gonna pause the video and fill in the information below. And here we go. Miku had his suit dry clean. He needs to get his shirts ironed. He got his hair cut. He needs to have his apartment cleaned. He got his resume proof read. He needs to have his resume translated into English. Now the next section, let me see. We have the next uh, phrases that we have seen for presenting an interview. So we have, mm, let me think, oh, let, let's see, um, let me see. Well, it's been great uh, talking to you. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Well, I've really enjoyed talking to you. Okay, now let's gonna fill in the next conversation with the correct answers. Okay, we're gonna show up the answers so you can follow me up. Okay, so you can look to the answers, you can look to the, to the reading, so you can check it out. Okay, I'm gonna just stop it here. And here we go. Oh, let's see what's. Well, it's been great talking to you. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Well, I really enjoyed talking to you. Then we have, mmm, let me think. Mmm, let me see. Well, it's been great talking to you. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Well, I have uh, really enjoyed talking to you. Um, let me think. Um, let me see. Well, it's been great talking to you. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Well, I've really enjoyed talking to you. So you can use this expression so there's no... It's not complicated, so you just actually can use any of them. So it uh, this phrases lets you... Uh, to have more time to think about a to a good answer, and then we will continue part C. Part C feature goals. We have here the different goals: doing volunteer work, having a big wedding, living the countryside. Um, then we have already financially independent, working as journalist, preparing for my exams, studying abroad, and write travel books. So this is Claudia Rodriguez is going to Seoul. The capital of South Korea. Okay, you can pause the video in this moment. And then we're gonna check the what they are talking about. Okay. Let's gonna now see the answer. And here we go. So it says John Lewis, have a good trip, Claudia, send me a postcard. I'll be and then while oh wait this is number five i finished the school two years ago and i'm already financially independent as example i have my own apartment and i have a great job i'm working as a journalist number two uh, then three i go i go to a lot of different countries for my job and i want to write travel books then uh about places I've been, I love living in the city, but I hope to. There's four, live in the countryside, the opposite of the city, number, number five. Says, have a great trip, Claudia, send me a postcard. Uh, I'll be preparing for my exams. While you're gone, have three big tests next week. Claudia Rodriguez, thanks, Jan, and good luck with your tests. Then we have Peng Liu, will you be back at, by April 3rd? I'm getting married. We're... Having a big wedding. I'm sorry, Peng. I won't be home till April 15. Near the end of my trip, I'm doing volunteer work. I'm teaching English at Korean high school for two weeks. And I'm also giving free classes about how to be a good journalist. Peng Liu, too bad. Well, I'll show you pictures when you get home. Then smart. Hey, Claudia. I'm studying abroad right now. I'm taking classes in Incheon. Maybe you can visit me when you are in Seoul. That's great, Mark. Who homes into Incheon on March 29th? It's the good for you. Yes, it is. We can have lunch in Yaoi Park. 
my fairy place here. Then, next part, circle the correct verb form to complete the sentences. Okay, we can check them out. You can pause the video in this moment, and we're gonna reveal the answers. So, here we go. You can take note of them. So, we're using simple present, sorry, simple future, and future continuous or progressive. Now, let's gonna keep on the next part. We're gonna check the sentence that, cor uh, that are correct, change the sentence that are not correct to the future with will and write the new sentences. So we're gonna make like a correction of these sentences right here. Okay, it's another time to pause the video with me. And here we go. Number one, it's will you remember my birthday in two months? So it's will you remember my birthday in two months? We have to omit here the B. And then the next one, it's simple uh, feature. The second, it's correct. Me, we will be preparing for his exam this weekend. Susanna will be financially independent when she gets a job. This is incorrect. Susanna will be being, you note. Know, remember that we have the steady verse and steady verse we can use it in progressing form. Number four, will you be achieving your goals in two years? So it's exactly the same. Will you achieve your goals in two years? Number five, Beatrice will be doing volunteer work on Saturday. That's correct. Do you think they'll be having a good time in Spain? No. Do you think uh, they'll or they will have a good time in Spain? Then number seven, we have it here. That's uh, correct. Tim will be working as a doctor in Los Angeles for the next three years. The last one will be believing. believing. It's a steady verse, so we can use in the ing. We use a simple form, so we will be believe your story when you prove it. And that's it. Now let's gonna go to the next part. Next part, we still practice the future simple and continuous. Complete the mail with the future continuous of the verse in parentheses. Okay, the future continuous. Remember that we need to have the verb to be. In this case, it's be because we have a modal verb want or will. In this case, I won't be working, so you can pause a bit on this moment. And I'm going to show out the answers. And we have won't be working, will, I'll be working, will be leaving, will be traveling, will be going, will be doing, and will be studying. Okay, remember that's the formula of the future continuous. Let's gonna go to the last part of grammar for this. Complete the mail with the feature with will of the verse in parentheses now. So once again, you can pause a bit in this moment, and now it's time to show the answers. Here it is I'll be, I'll finish, I'll go, won't be, will have, uh, will meet, won't be, and will visit. Okay, now what will you be doing in five years? Write a sentence about each topic. Okay, so you're gonna do uh, this is the second activity. I want you to write down your future plans about school, work, and travel so you can fill it in with your own examples. And in our last section, deeds to practice reading, it's my career. We have disappearing jobs. So actually, we were discussing this on the, the the student's book. Okay, you can pause the video, pause it right now, read it the the text, read the text, and then we're gonna answer the next uh, uh, well statements by true or false, or no information if there's not. The automatic elevator was invented hundred years ago, so that's no information about it doesn't say there are no travel agents now false because of ATMs people never go into banks now that's false for a lot of shoppers use the self checkout option that's true it's very expensive to use drones to send packages no information about it new jobs are often created when all new ones disappear that's true and that's it of the practice of unit number 11 guys so there are two activities to do you have to complete them right here and remember to post and to share it with me so i hope that you have a great day
See you later. Bye-bye.